As you'll probably know, over the last five years, 60 Minutes has reported a number of stories with Ralph and Kathy Kelly, highlighting their ongoing commitment to making our streets safer. Their campaign started after the death of their eldest son, Thomas, who was the victim of a one-punch attack in 2012. But then, just as tragically, 18 months ago, their second son, Stuart, took his own life. Ralph and Kathy believe he was subjected to hazing rituals at university. Had he not gone to St Paul's College that night, he'd be alive today. In the aftermath of their loss, the Kellys are now behind a national social movement, an initiative they've called Stay Kind, after Stuart's initials. Very simply, it's about all of us giving thought to something we so easily forget, the need to look after each other, being respectful, kindness. Easter Monday, eight days from now, is Stay Kind Day. And to mark it, NRL teams, West Tigers and the Parramatta Eels will play in the Stay Kind Cup match. And Ralph and Kathy Kelly are hoping to fill the ANZ Stadium in Sydney with spectators. Not only will you get a great game of football, you'll be showing support for all of those who suffer in silence. However, if you can't make it, the Kellys want you to remember to stay kind and take care. It's a great message.